Good morning, everyone. Today we celebrate the conversion of St. Paul. Um, now, the interesting thing, of course, uh, you'll know the conversion story that uh, as we read in the Acts of the Apostles, our first re reading of today, the conversion of Paul, that he was persecuting the early Christians. Um, he, in fact, uh, is recorded as having been present um, at the stoning of Stephen, the first martyr. And uh, he held the cloaks of those people who were stoning him. So he was one of those who, who was persecuting the early Christians and trying to wipe them out. And here he was on the road to Damascus, going off to go and collect more people and bring them back to be sorted out for the Romans. Uh, now, the interesting thing is that many also, I, I've seen pictures of the uh, conversion of Paul. He was knocked off his horse and fell down. Well, uh, we need to clarify that. It doesn't say anywhere in the scriptures that he was on a horse. Um, that was an artist who created that uh, impression, very creative and, and very um, a, a art, a, interesting to watch, but not accurate in terms of scriptures. It, it, all that happened was that Saul was thrown to the ground and uh, a light shone on him and he went blind with the, blind, uh, with the brightness of the light. And that was only re uh, removed from him when he was actually led um, to the temple and um, uh, Ananias, in fact, um, told him that he could see and that there from there on he would be going, going out to uh, be baptized and to convert people. Now, um, for many people, there's that, that's quite sort of strong, you know, that's intense. And people say, well, I didn't go through that. No, you didn't. Not everybody does. Conversion is different for different people. Some people talk about being slain in the Lord, and that's wonderful. That does happen. But for many of us, we were baptized early in our lives, and conversion for us is a long and a slow process. And it doesn't mean to say that we don't get to the same end point. What it does mean is that some people experience the Lord in different ways in their lives. What we should appreciate is that we need to be open to it. And there will be times when perhaps we are sitting in a beautiful place and we actually experience the Lord in an intense way. There might also just be an little incident that happened. You say, Lord, wow, you know, I know that you were there. And for that's a good conversion process. And it brings us closer to the Lord. So the experience that Paul went through uh, was uh, something unique, but not necessarily something that all of us will experience. But Jesus in the gospel today says we must go out and we must spread the good news. We must go out and be Christians. We, we, it's, it's important that once we have had that conversion, that we go and share it with others, because then others will be able to be converted through what we have to say. So have a wonderful and beautiful day. Uh, be converted in your own little way and uh, enjoy the day. God bless. Bye-bye.